so this is subtraction base method okay so this is also it's uh, definitely going to be very useful for you okay so numbers actually the numbers are made up of only ones and zeros this is what is the base number means this is a base number for example 10 100 1000 1 0 1 so all the base number is just made up of a ones and zeros okay so in the base number what is the base in the base number means what is the a basic knowledge to perform the subtraction in a base method means i have already told you about the um, nearest closest number okay so we have come across with already the closest number the 7 8 and 9 so these three number are closest to 10 okay so next 17 18 19 so these three number is closest to 20 next 27 28 29 or closest to 30 next 37 38 39 these three number are closest to 40 okay next 47 48 and 49 these three number are closest to 50 next 57 58 and 59 these three number are closest to 60 next 67 68 and 69 are closest to 70 okay next 77 78 and 79 are closest to 80 next 87 88 and 89 or closest to 90 okay 97 98 99 or closest to 100 okay so this is the closest number okay you should be remember when when i'm teaching about a 10 point circle when teaching about a 10 point circle what i have told two pairs 9 and 1 8 and 2 6 and 4 7 and 3 so i have come up with the pairs of number we are getting like a answer 10 so how this is very useful when you are performing the addition the same like when you are well versed in the closest number this is not a very difficult from the 7 to 9 the closest number 7 8 9 closest to 10 17 18 19 20 then 27 to 29 30 37 to 39 40 then 47 to 49 is a 50 then 57 to 59 is a 60 then 67 to 69 is a 70 then 77 to 79 closest to 80 then 87 to 89 closest to 90 and the 97 to 99 is closest to 100 so once you remember the closest number okay then it will be easy to perform the subtraction in a base method okay you just remember one thing here so when you are performing the addition how the 10 point circle is helpful for you when you are perform the, performing the subtraction uh, using the base method this is a base for the method sub, doing a uh, subtraction so just remember which number is closest to which one okay you just remember about this thing okay next we are going to see some more example in the subtraction base method okay next is subtraction base method okay so uh, before going into the example i have given the introduction what is the base of uh, doing uh, subtraction with the base method keeping the nearest number okay you should perform the nearest uh, number you should perform the nearest number always the seven eight nine these are the very closest to the uh, base number like a 10 uh, 20 30 40 and all okay so so this is a problem 1000 minus 786 first problem 1000 minus 784 okay if you are doing uh, your old uh, not your it's our old method how you are going to perform 1000 
then 784 and also I have taught about left to right method okay so then left to right method or right to left method you will always use to perform the old method what in a Vedic mathematics telling how you perform the 1000 minus 784 very easily by using the base method mean listen 784 isn't it this is a number has been given all numbers should be subtracted from the 9 and the last number should be subtracted from the 10. Okay, if you perform this way, you can get the answer very easily instead of performing our old method. Okay, so borrow 9, borrow 10, 9. So, you instead of doing this, of course, what is the basic thing? This is not any uh, what I have found it out here. Normally, when you are performing the old method, so I am just avoiding the one step here. So, just I am borrowing 1 to the 1, always the 9 will be there. The last one will be the 10. So, why can't I should get a borrow and then again, why should I want to perform? I am just going directly. So, 9, 9 and 10. Okay, so if you are subtracted, then answer will be 2. 214 is the answer okay so this is not what i am telling the mathematic tricks is thinking or logically how i bring in the base method the base method is not anything like a newton law what i have derived or the anything i like uh, any new law uh, which is i have been derived in a vedic mathematics this is a very simple what we have to uh, do in the last old method we will always use to perform uh, subtraction by borrowing the one number from the previous number how you will perform it uh, so here zero you cannot borrow it then here also zero you cannot borrow it here also zero you cannot borrow it okay whether this is a one if you this is a ten so okay if you uh, then again it will become a uh, 10 and it will become a 9 then if you borrow 1 to this then again it will become a 9 and this will become a 10 this is a old method instead of I'm going a borrowing method I'm just coming with the direct number here okay all from 9 and the last from the 10 this is what the subtraction using the base method okay so uh, what we have find it out the answer 2 1 4 uh, okay so next one 1000 minus 8, 682. 1000 minus 682. Okay, what I have told it's subtraction uh, based method in a Vedic mathematics. You need not to perform the borrowism. Then, how you are going to directly subtract the number all from the 9 and the last from the 10? 8, 1, 3. So, 318 is the answer for 1000 minus 682 okay whereas the next problem 100 minus 77 isn't it so how we are going to perform it all from the 9 and the last from the 10 3 and 2 23 is the answer so this is what subtraction base method if any number which comes like a thousand 1000 minus 784 100 minus 63 10,000 if you just take a 10,000 like a Okay, if you are performing all from the 9 and the last from the 10 also, if you are derived it, then you can, be, can get the answer. Okay, so what is the main condition in a subtraction based method? Means the digit should be same here. So here, how many zeros here? 1, 2, 3. So here also the three the digit should be same here. So how many zeros here? 4 zeros here. So how many digit here? 4 digit here. So what is the main uh, uh, thing want to check? It means the both side we need a same uh, z the same zero is equal to the same digit okay so this is the subtraction base method this is what i have told you this is not any new law or a new method what derived in a vedic mathematics this is the old method we have taken only the second step all from the 9 and the last from the 10 okay okay next uh, instead of a thousand and hundred if there is a any other number so how are you going to perform it? If your baby, um, if it be a thousand, two thousand, uh, sorry, a thousand, ten thousand, hundred is using the subtraction a base method. You can follow all from the nine and the last from the ten. You can perform the subtraction and you can come up with the answer. 
so this is a subtraction from a multiple base for example if it be like a 600 minus 87 or 5000 minus 234 if it be like this then don't worry it is also we are very easy we can perform it okay so before i am going to teach you this so what is a, this is a sutra so, so in vedic uh, means they are it's a, like a formula okay so the formula what is mean all from the 9 and last from the 10 as usual like a previous sum but what is the one change here means one less than the one before what is the one less than one before means i will tell you when i'm when we are performing the um subtraction okay so what is the first sum here 600 and minus 87 is the sum isn't it so if we follow the sutra we want to follow the formula isn't it what is the formula all from the 9 and the last from the 10 as usual like a previous method subtraction base method we want to subtract it all from the 9 and the last from the 10 so what is the answer here 10 minus 7 3 9 minus 8 1 okay so next what is the saying one less than the one before so where are we going to uh, uh, going to reduce the one number we are going to reduce the one number from the first digit from this number 6 minus 1 is 5 then the answer is 530 so 600 and minus 87 the answer is 530 we'll check whether it is a correct or wrong so 10 9 5 so 3 1 and 5 so we are getting the answer instead of doing the borrowing method we just find it out all from the 9 and last from the 10 after subtracting 10 minus 7 we have got 3 and 9 minus 8 is a 1 we should reduce the one number before means th they are mentioning this number okay so 6 minus 1 is 5 okay this is a uh, subtraction from a multiple base okay now we are going to perform a one more example what is the summons 5000 minus 234 5000 minus 234 so what is the sutra we have to follow it all from the 9 and the last from the 10 yes as usual all from the 9 and the last from the 10 one less than the one before which number you're going to uh, reduce by the one yes this number you're going to reduce by the one then the final answer is four next nine minus uh, two is seven and then uh, nine minus three is six and ten minus four is six so four thousand and seven hundred and sixty six is the answer for five thousand and two hundred and thirty four okay so wait i will tell you First sum we have seen subtraction from the base method. Subtraction from the base method. So this method will allow us to perform like a 100, 10,000, 10,000. Okay, this is a subtraction base method. What is subtraction from a multi base uh, subtraction from multi base method means, for example, it will be a 600. 5000 or a 6000 or a 7000 okay so this this is a base this multi base will help us uh, this sutra will help us to perform in the uh, doing a subtraction in a multi base method okay so you i think you will be a very uh, understand with the subtraction base method and subtraction multi base method so I'm um, one more time I'm telling subtraction multi base uh, method means it's not anything like a new method. We should perform all from the nine and the last from the ten as usual. What you follow in the before subtraction base method. What is the only one change here? You should reduce the one number from the last to this number. Okay. So this is what I already we uh, every time I will used to say this is not any if you sudra means this is not any sudra they have been derived. If you think of logically, for example, if you are do uh, our very old method, what is if you borrow ten as usual nine then four it will be there. Every time if there will be a number, every time there will be a minus from the one. 
so they are directly bringing up with the answer okay so th this is not anything newly they have derived anything not i'm newly have it find it out for you so this is a already method so i've just avoided the one step here and directly i'm coming to the answer so this is what i've used to tell this is what thinking are logically so this is a subtraction from a multi base method